Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a split system air conditioner for a elevator machine room. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for an elevator machine room. Definitely some interesting controls here. This type of place needs to be air conditioned 24 seven. This is a Mitsubishi split system. It's a single zone wall mounted unit. And it looks like we're just blowing out room temperature air. Whoa, 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 whoa. look at those filters. Oh my God. All right, so you wanna make sure that this is set to cooling. It's definitely hot in here. It's probably like around 80 degrees or so. It's set to cooling, fan is set to about almost high speed and the thermostat is set to 59 degrees so we should be cooling. These filters are absolutely insane. As soon as I pull this out I feel a huge, huge air airflow difference. Oh yeah, moving a lot more air now. Wonder if that would do the trick. This is actually a compressor we just changed. This is the infamous LG building. All right, let's see if we get any better temperatures. It honestly could be just a clogged filter. Seriously, this thing needs some serious maintenance. Currently just changed his compressor, weighing in the refrigerant right now. It's running. All right, so of course, while I'm here, all hell breaks loose. There's the elevator room and the condenser unit somewhere here. I'm just trying to figure out how to get over there. I guess I need to climb. It's right there. Looks like the condenser fan motor is actually running. And so is the indoor evaporator fan motor. If that compressor is running, then it's a good chance we're low on refrigerant. I don't think they really thought this one through. Anyways, looks like we gotta climb to get in there. And it just started raining a little. Gages, let's see what we got. Let's open this one up. All right, right there. Let's take a quick look. Whoa. What is that? 225? Uh, it might be... Yeah, refrigerant 4108. That thing's gotta be shut down. Just opened up the top cover. Here's the board. If you look inside there, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's a yellow and red light. A steady one. Gotta take off this cover here. I wanna know if there's any codes or anything. Pressure's not running, it's not even hot. Don't see any codes. So it looks like the codes would be like a flashing light. Everything is just like flashes. Uh, there's actually no flashes here. Let's reset this unit. Wonder if maybe there's anything here or right here indicating, operation indicator. Everything is just steady green light. Looks like everything's good. Let me shut this thing down from the thermostat. Then I'm gonna kill the power for like five minutes. Let everything de-energize and let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, things off. Let's kill the power, let's give it five minutes and let's reset this. All right, just reset everything, turn the power on and reset that thermostat, set it to cooling and dropped it. Got a 230 standing pressure which seems to be correlated with today's temperature i got my amp meter across one of these wires these three wires go down to the compressor so let's see if this thing tries to pull any amps let's see if the 
uh, we have any compression let's see if the pressures change and we also should check to see if that compressor is getting voltage so let's give this thing a shot let's see what happens those two lights there LED 2 and LED 1 are just steady actually started you see the pressures coming down okay let's see what's going on it's coming down pretty rapidly we're at 125 six amps Got 110 back pressure that's good isn't exactly cold. This thing only needed a reset. What happened here? All right, guys, you guys can see the temperature. We got 59.4 degrees and dropping. So we actually had no error codes here. Everything was steady lights here. It was steady lights outside. But what did we find was those packed filters. I wonder if that did it. 58.6 and dropping. Maybe it was just the filters and this thing really just wasn't doing its thing. Maybe it shut down somehow and just surprisingly, there is no codes. But anyways, we got cold air for sure. This thing is so dirty and seriously needs a cleaning. All right, we got a 130 pound back pressure. Suction line's cold, room is getting cold. It looks pretty good. Let's put this cover back on. Might actually might change the pressure as well because it is sucking air from there we'll see so we're gonna let this thing run we're gonna go to lunch come back see if that room is doing well and if it is you know it's been running for a good hour by that time and just some dirty filters and i'm gonna recommend the cleaning but let's see what's going on all right it's been about an hour everything's looking good temperatures are good it's got to be that filter i'm going to recommend a deep cleaning just look at the color on this it's really gross maintenance record last one in 2018 we're in 2023 right now it actually makes sense whoa look at this super dirty definitely time to clean this thing up everything's looking good we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time